Oh my god. <gasps> oh no! Oh. Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be going over fakes. As you can see, fakes are devastating for the other team. You can completely take advantage of their poor placement, or poor position on the field rather, and you can just outsmart them and outmind game them. It's a common occurrence with my gameplay, as faking is one of the most used uh, skills of mine, and it really, really helps take advantage of uh, faster players and smart players. So at higher ranks, mind games like this and faking become a big, big ordeal. And we're going to go over a little bit on a how-to, a little tutorial on how to fake correctly without getting yourself out of position and potentially losing yourself a goal. Uh, we're going to show a few clips here in the beginning like this, and we're going to go into a casual ones game and just see if we can pull off a few fakes. Uh, so here you are seeing a few examples of fakes right here. I stop right in front of the front left. If he hits the ball, it's still going to hit me. It takes smart plays like that to make sure you're not getting taken advantage of when trying to fake. Alright, so now we're going to get started in this casual game, like I said. And we're going to do a little fake kickoff there. Not really... You know what I would consider a fake. That's not what this video is about, really. But gives me possession of the ball. Gives me a chance to try a fake. Uh, right there, um, and it looks like we already got a fake. Um, it was a pretty good hesitation move. Uh, I kept myself on the other side of the ball to make sure there was no risk. If you can tell, so there's no risk on that fake, and that is maybe the most important part of faking: making sure there's no potential loss or risk. So. Our goal is to get a few fakes this game. Um, obviously, he's going to probably catch on, and I'll probably have to throw in a few. Um, I'll probably have to throw in a few air dribbles or something random in there just to uh, confuse him a little bit. Um, right here, I tried to do a fake. I tried to land right in front of the ball um, by faking that hit and landing in front of the ball to get win the 50 and get a free score out of it. Didn't happen. Uh, we got a dribble play here, maybe getting me a fake. And right there, that was a riskier fake, as he could have easily smashed that to my corner. Um, I was pretty confident it was going to work the way he fell for it. Uh, you can tell he kind of tried to push it fast. Unfortunately, keeping yourself on the other side of the ball in a position where you will get the 50 either way, um, we keep in a safe way to, uh, to get that fake. So, right now we're just kind of retreating, going back for boost, as we are just going for fakes. Not probably going to be playing the smartest, so don't take this... Uh, One's gameplay too seriously. Um, we're going to see if we can get a dribble here. So, I tried a fake. Didn't really work out. He should have scored. Didn't score. So, it's all good. I'm going to get this boost. I'm not too worried. Um, I used to boost there, unfortunately. So, I might not be able to do anything yet. I'm going to try to get this boost. And there's really nothing here. I'm not going to really do much. Um... Just trying to make him seem like it's a normal 1v1, uh, not just going for one, you know, skill or mechanic. As I get a kind of another fake, um, I just fake challenge there. It was a pretty obvious. He was coming fast to the ball. Um, I had the first touch if I went fast, and he knew that, so he didn't want to hesitate, and I took advantage of his uh, kind of slow uh, positioning. So right here, it's 3-0. We got kind of three fakes already, which is very surprising. Um, if you go just for fakes in the game, it's not going to work out. Already, I can tell he's going to start speeding up with that first play. Um, he might just start going for everything. We'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. See if we can get another. Dr okay, so he, yeah, he is booking it for the uh, for these fakes now. I'm pretty sure he knows what's going on. He knows I'm just going for fakes or something uh, because he's playing a lot different than he was in the beginning, which is good. This would allow me, if I was trying to win, a lot more... Uh, a lot more goals, but since I'm trying to fake, it's not going to work as well. So right here, I'm just going to go back and get boost. I'm not too worried about a shot, most likely. Yeah, it's a pretty weak shot. Um, let's see if we can try to get a fake here. So I got the dribble that I want. Uh, not really anything there. He didn't really commit. He kind of just stayed in net. There wasn't much to fake. Unfortunately, he didn't give me a chance or an opportunity to try a fake. 
right there. I just tried to do another fake. Um, you got to remember, doing a lot of fakes in one game like this uh, continuously, he's getting pretty um, used to it, used to the idea that I'm trying to fake. So I'm assuming we'll get maybe one more good fake, um, and that'll be about all in this game. But see right there, he would have fell for that, you know, uh, if I haven't been faking all game. So I'm just trying to show you guys what is uh, doable. And yeah, he's just he's rushing the heck out of it. So there's really no fakes to be done there. Um, unfortunately, this is what will happen if you try to fake too much in one game, most likely. But like you saw in the previous clips, it does work. Faking works all the time. So I'm not going to shoot here, obviously. I'm going to get this boost. Um, and I just took advantage. I just wanted to show you guys that sometimes you do want to mix it up. Um, I'm going to let this replay go so you can see it as well. So right here, he's, he's assuming I'm faking and he challenges real early for that reason. Um, so I, I mixed it up just to punish him and maybe we'll be able to get that fifth goal as a fake since maybe he's uh, he's thinking the fakes are over. Let's see. I uh, kind of got a good setup there, unfortunately. I kind of messed that one up. Um, let's see here. Just kind of trying to hit the ball around, make it get back to a normal kind of tempo. This guy's missing a lot of his shots. Ooh, I really thought that was um, a miss at first, and I saw it go in. I saw it start to go in, so I gave him the nice shot. But let's check out what happens. Uh, I'm trying to just get a 50, a weird one. That'll work. Should be able to get boost and maybe get to this challenge in time. We'll see. Yeah, that's will work. Okay, so let's try to get that fifth uh, goal, fourth fake. So, I was just wasn't on target. Kind of gave him the first, uh, the fake with the jump, so he didn't challenge right away, and then he challenged after the jump, but I had the flick on him, but fortunately, this guy might have learned, might be all out of fakes, since this guy's starting to learn. Um, yeah, he's just challenging every ball pretty much instantly now. And remember, adding fakes to your arsenal is huge, because this guy's starting to play, uh, he doesn't want to play like this, but he's starting to play way aggressive. And I could take advantage of him very, very easily if I was trying to win this game instead of just going for fakes. So just remember, pulling off a few fakes is more than just a goal. It actually starts to play with their mind a little bit. It starts making them play differently. Um, right here, there's not much for me to do besides fake. And I think I'm going to count that as a number four on the fake chart. As I did give him a little fake. I heard him on the left coming fast. He definitely thought I was going up for that ball. And he was going for a block, and it gave me a free shot. So that'll be our fourth fake of that game. Um, and you know what I'm think I'm going to do is go into training and show you guys a little bit of the positioning you should have on the ball when you're trying to fake, and how to keep yourself safe in a position to fake without you know getting punished really. All right. So now there are a couple different fakes. Having the ball in your head right here, and if they're coming for a challenge. Dropping the ball to the side or in front of you and then flipping into it to make sure it doesn't uh, Go the other way on you if they get the good challenge is one of the many fakes that works out all the time because people are Automatically if you have good control good ball control and you have the uh, ball on top of your head They're gonna come flying at you for the challenge So they're gonna assume you're gonna flick and if you just keep well hold up if you just keep the ball on your head and then right when they're coming, drop it. They'll usually 50 it right into your car. Um, and that'll usually end up in a goal for you, or at least a better possession of the ball. Having control of the ball, and then jumping and staying low with it like that and cutting back in is one way to get a good fake goal. Uh, it's more of a dribble, that one. But really, the best times to fake, um, as well, like during shots and stuff, is when you know you're gonna beat the other guy to the ball. Um, if you know you're gonna beat the other teammate to the ball and he's going for a block, that is the best time to strike a fake. Like this would be a good fake. They would have no doubt if the ball was right there and I was right close to the ball and I drifted in for a drift shot or a fake drift shot, they're gonna challenge the heck out of that. Most likely gonna jump over the ball or barely nip the ball. That's why it's so important to get your car on the other side because if they barely touch that ball, 
you're going to you're going to block that hit and it's going to be a slow roller for you. So you're going to be able to pick up possession right away. Um, another kind of fake that I like to do is a jump and bring it right back down um, right in front of your car. Most likely you're going to 50 that thing right into their net. Uh, but the biggest the biggest fakes are these um, these below shot ones where you you go like that and honestly they're gonna fly over the ball every time um, unless you're doing fakes nonstop like it was the game before. Uh, another good fake is the aerial fake. So like if you don't have a great touch, no point in, no point in uh, shooting right there, right? They're gonna have an easy clear pass to their teammates. So there's really no point. What I like to do is bring the ball up. Oh, wait, I don't have anything, okay? So now I'm gonna land right in front of the ball and fake the whole time by twisting and turning your car like with arrow. And you're basically gonna follow the ball, mirror the ball the whole way down. And they're gonna think you have a touch yet. Uh, so when you don't get a touch, they're gonna challenge and you're gonna be directly in front of the ball. So your fake really worked out well because you're gonna be in a spot to where you're gonna beat them with that 50. Um, so you really just watch some of these uh, these fakes and see how they do it without being too risky on the fakes. A lot of fakes are too risky, really not um, good for competitive play, but there are a ton of fakes that work out and you don't have to risk a single thing. So I suggest learning the fake. It's huge to you know get good with fakes. It's very common to get faked in uh, higher champ gameplay for sure. I don't think it really starts up until probably champ one or above as the slower the other opponent is and the dumber they are, the less it works. So it's not as strong as it would be in, you know, champ one or champ two or champ three even. So uh, this mechanic only gets better and better as you rank up. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. And if you're really interested in, you know, getting some free keys, I am doing a hundred key giveaway in my discord. And you can also sign up in the replay analysis channel to get your replay analyzed. I have replays coming out pretty much every other day of replay analysis of any ranks uh, from top 100 to GC players to bronze and gold players. It doesn't really matter. Everybody benefits from reviewing these gameplays. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. And I hope you guys give me the like and hopefully subscribe if you guys learned a little bit.